casa. So the other day I decided to revisit Man of Steel, and as you probably could have guessed from the title and thumbnail of this video, there's something about this movie that I really like. And what is it? Is it the acting? Hey asswipe, what do you think, did you see the game? Leave him alone Pete. Oh what, he was his girlfriend? I wanna hear- No, no, the acting isn't always terrible, but no, it's not that. Is it the action? <laughs> Not really, I mean, the amount of destruction in this movie is a bit ridiculous. I understand that they were building up to Batman v Superman, but this is this is a little bit too much destruction. Is it the dialogue? You're a monster, Zod. And I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's not. So what is it then? Interestingly enough, what I like about Man of Steel and Zack Snyder's version of Superman in general is actually the religious symbolism. I've heard a lot of people complain about this actually and state that it's overdone, convenient, corny, and so forth, but personally I really enjoy it and think it actually makes a ton of sense for this character. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. In these movies, Superman is perceived as a god more than he is a superhero. Cal floats like a godlike figure in Man of Steel multiple times. I noticed yesterday that when he talks to this priest, Jesus is behind him in the background and for God's sake, no pun intended, he's wearing a piece of clothing that looks like a red cape. In Batman v Superman, he has people holding on to him like he's their godlike savior. This dude's reaching out to him as he's floating like a god. He dies in Batman v Superman by sacrificing himself and rises from the dead in Justice League. In this scene of Man of Steel, he's basically Jesus on the cross. You get it, and that should be enough, right? But I really like this, to be honest, and I think it's a great way to handle this character. For one, look at this guy. If a dude with a perfectly defined jawline, hairline, and body wore a godlike costume with a huge red cape and was floating in the sky, are you telling me you wouldn't consider him a Jesus or godlike figure? Alien or not, he's there protecting your planet and has godlike abilities. It just couldn't make any more sense that this is the way he's seen and perceived. And it actually makes me appreciate Superman more. Because up till Man of Steel, I always just thought of Superman as a really powerful superhero, but not much else. Which made the character feel kind of dull, unoriginal, convenient, etc. But making him out to be a god makes me appreciate him more. And the score just enhances this feeling. I've only talked about Man of Steel once on this channel, and it was exclusively about the score because it's just ridiculously good. Easily the top three best superhero scores of all time, and that's not surprising considering it's composed by Hans Zimmer. It really makes Superman feel that much more like a god to me. And I love that during the slow character building scenes, we hear the quiet theme subtly in the background, versus the action scenes where it's blaring and way more intense. It's a perfect score. Here's the thing about Man of Steel. To say it's not perfect is an understatement. If I had to rate this film, there's no way I could give it above a 6. Just like many of Zack Snyder's movies, I have lots of problems with script and writing, as I hinted at in the beginning of this video, but here's the other thing about Man of Steel. It's still a piece of art. Zack Snyder is seriously an artist. His visuals are innovative and make this character feel special. The score is special. The casting is perfect. I can watch the first flight scene on repeat for hours straight. I will absolutely be revisiting Man of Steel again, and I actually look forward to it. Hope you guys liked this video, and thanks for watching. What if a child dreamed of becoming something other than what society had intended for him or her? What if a child aspired to something greater? You were the embodiment of that belief, Cal. The symbol of the House of El means hope. Embodied within that hope is the fundamental belief in the potential of every person to be a force for good.